everyone. My name is Jennifer Stay. This is Steve. Hello. <laughs> My husband and business partner. That's Rose back there. <laughs> and I have a confession. There's a pencil that I've been recommending to all of you for years, and I have never tried anything beyond just one pencil in the whole set. So that's going to change. I need, need to try the whole set of this line of pencils. That's right. Because it's just wrong that I am <laughs> recommending these pencils when I haven't even tried them all. Can you guys guess what it is? <laughs> You've probably already seen the title or yeah. something. <laughs> oh, they have no idea. <laughs> all right, I'll show you what pencils they are. That's these guys right here. The Derwent drawing line of pencils. It's a very unique line of pencils. It's got quite a history to it. Um, and all I've ever tried before now was the Chinese white because it was recommended to me as one of the best opaque, beautiful white color pencils out there available to us as artists. So I brought in the white and yep, it's an amazing white. I've been using it for years. I recommend it all the time. And I thought it was about time that I tried the rest of the pencils in the line. So you're going to come along with me on this really cool experience. We're going to unbox, swatch, color, and have a great time. So let's start with unboxing the Derwent drawing pencils. Okay, just a second, Jennifer, before you unbox those beautiful pencils, I want to tell all of you about a brand new coloring book we have available at Coloring Bliss. I'm going to show more about that here in just a minute, but I didn't want you guys to miss out on this gorgeous new art that we have available. It's a full coloring book by a new artist. Her name is Oksana, and we're going to make for a limited time one of these beautiful pieces of art in this book as a download for free. There's a link in the video description. Come and get it because it won't be free forever. If you're watching this video later and you wish you had gotten that free download, we'll have other free downloads. So don't worry, just come on over to Coloring Bliss and become a member. So hang in there. You're going to see me color one of these. You'll see more about this book a little bit later in this video. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Okay, here they are. I've never unboxed them and we're going to do it together. So this is the set of 12 right here. Um, yeah, this is what the case looks like. It's typical Derwent packaging here. So you can open the case and look inside and then they usually shrink wrap this section here to help the pencils stay in place. So yeah, typical Derwent packaging. You guys know if you you've been around my channel at all that I am not a fan of the Derwent tins. They don't stay on very well. I end up having to tape the tins shut. So that's one negative about the Derwent tins. Wish they would fix that issue. All right, let's crack into this. Carefully cut the plastic. Oh, new pencils. Oh, they smell good. Smell good. No weird um, chemical smell. They just smell really good and wood like. Let's give these little guys a spin here. See how. Oh, they don't spin very good. I was hoping they would give a nice spin. Oh, there. Gotta hold on tight to them. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this yellow one. This one's really jumping out at me here. Okay, so this is how they look. Um, it's a very classic Derwent pencil. It has a dipped end, so you have that look here. So this is the color that the end should color off, and then it has, for these pencils, sort of a bronzy-looking stripe right here. And then it says England, Derwent Drawing, and the print is done in uh, white, which I appreciate. It's very easy to read. Thank you so much, Derwent. And then it has the color name. This one is yellow ochre and a number 5720. So very basic, but everything that I want in a pencil is happening right here. Like I mentioned, these pencils have a five millimeter core, which is a huge core. Let me compare it to, I happen to have, let's see, a Polychromos pencil right here. 
so you can see the difference in the core size. So these guys have a lot of core to play with when you're coloring, which is amazing. That's a real advantage to these pencils. So um, the price is a little high, but uh, not super high. We're not um, in an extreme high price range here. Um, and you're getting more core, so that's a high value per pencil. That's really awesome. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at all these colors. I want to swatch them. So let's roll some swatching footage. I want to swatch them on white, tan, and black because one of the big things they talk about with these pencils is that they were formulated specifically for working on tone and dark paper. So let's see how they play. As I'm setting up these swatches, I'm having so much fun with the names of these pencils. And I must admit, I haven't even swatched all these colors yet and I'm already suffering from full set syndrome. I want all 24 just because the names are fun. Listen to these colors. Ink blue, olive earth, ruby earth, solway blue. I looked up what solway is and it's an inlet of, uh, of the sea up on the England coast. So cool, so many fun names. Chocolate, green shadow, oh my goodness, I'm having so much fun. My heart is breaking and so is the tip of this pencil. Look at that. Oh, that is so sad. Okay, so one of the things that Derwent really proclaims about these pencils is because it has such a large core, this five millimeter core, as a drawing and a professional artist, you can really lean in and do broad, heavy strokes to get this opaque payoff that they're talking about. So the fact that this broke on me when I'm doing my very first swatching with it is sad, and hopefully this is just a one time, maybe during shipping it got bumped. It is the one at the very end, so if any of them, got bumped during shipping or something, I guess it would have been poor little Solway Blue. So I'm gonna sharpen it up and keep moving on and we'll see if anything like this happens again. Oh, I weep. I hope you enjoyed watching that swatching. I had a lot of fun swatching those pencils. They feel different and act different and it's just a, a joy to work with them. It's so much fun. Cannot wait for you to see the coloring I do with them. But before that, let's compare um, the swatches and see how they look on the different papers. So you're going to need to ignore this section right here. Let me just cover it up. This is the Derwent drawing pencils here. Here they are on white and here they are on black. And they do live up to what the box um, proclaimed. They look beautiful on dark papers, on tan papers, and they even look beautiful on white. It's just really remarkable oh, how gorgeous colors. they are. And the color palette that they give you in this set of 12, they're very earthy. That's the word they use to describe this set on a lot of their literature. It's earthy, wildlife, landscape, portrait, life studio, life study, that kind of thing. 
That's what this is intended for. It's totally that. If you're looking for bright pops of pink and blue, kind of like in this pastel set by Holbein, that's not what you're going to find here in this box of 12. So don't go into it looking for one thing because you're not going to get it here in this set of 12 at least. Okay. Um, they're beautiful. I highly recommend them so far. I can't wait for you to see me color with them. Like I was saying, they are wax based, so they feel that way. They don't feel too creamy though. They don't feel too dry. They're just a really lovely pencil to work with. Okay. So let's talk about the price on these pencils because these are considered um, one of their highly light fast pencils. In fact, I think before Derwent light fast pencils came out, these were considered their most light fast pencils. Huh. Um, they, on their, their paperwork, they're called, um, they're, they call themselves 100% resistant to color change for up to 100 years. And then you can read about the blue wheel scale. So they tested these with the blue wool scale. I don't know if they've gone to the trouble of testing these with the ASTM like they did with the um, Derwent light fast pencils. If you want to know more about that, we have an entire video all about light fast and whether you need to worry about it as a colorist. So I highly recommend you go check out that video because it will explain what I'm talking about here. But basically, these are highly light fast, really good for professional artists. So I highly recommend it for that purpose. So what price do they come in then, right? Usually when we talk light fast, fully tested pencils coming from a very high end company like Derwent, usually we hit a high end price, right? Not so, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So this little set right here, the 12 set cost me $22 a little bit more than $22. So that's about $1.85 per pencil. There's only 24 pencils in the entire range, as you can see, and they're all in that earthy, wildlife, landscape type color scheme. That's one reason I never invested in the full set. It wasn't a color scheme that called to me. There's really no purples, that, no colors that I'm just like, ooh, I want to color with them. Although now that I have had a little experience, I've, the, yeah, I want to color with them. So comparatively, um, at $1.85 per pencil um, here in the 12 set, um, that puts them a lot cheaper than the Derwent Lightfast, their brothers. Um, they're at 282 per pencil when you buy the full set. So it's a whole buck cheaper per pencil. Um, Luminance has come in at about 289 per pencil when you buy a full set. Um, comparatively, Prismacolors are about 83 cents per pencil when you buy a full set. Now that's all in US and at the time of this filming. So prices, as you know, fluctuate wildly by region and by date. <laughs> so shop your sales. And uh, this is a good example because um, as you'll see, um, we're going to talk about it here in a minute, but I did end up ordering uh, the rest of the pencils and I got them open stock, one pencil at a time to complete my 24 for a dollar per pencil to finish my set, you guys. That was on dickblick.com. Awesome sale. Thank you, dickblick.com. <laughs> so, but we'll talk more about satisfying full set syndrome here in a minute. And speaking of that, the next test that has to happen after you swatch is you got to do the coloring, right? So wait, hang in there because I cannot wait for you to see what happens when I actually start coloring with these pencils. Let's roll the footage. Okay, as I stated, I've given myself the challenge to only use these 12 Derwent drawing pencils on this coloring page. So the first thing I wanted to do was sort of break these 12 colors into groups so that I could get good contrast and a good sort of color story on this coloring page. So I broke them into two groups. We have warm colors on the top and cool colors on the bottom. I think that will help me wrap my head around where to place these colors and how to use them to get the most out of the 12 colors and to get good contrast as I am planning out my composition.
Okay, now remember, this page that I am coloring right now with the Derwent Drawing Pencils is available limited time as a free download. This is one of the pieces of art in our new coloring book, and it is so much fun to color. I can't wait for all of you to experience this beautiful art from one of our new Bliss artists. Okay, here it is, the finished piece of art that I colored. And as you saw through the process, I learned a lot working with the pencils. I tried a lot of different techniques just because I wanted to really push these pencils and see what happens if I tried them with odorless mineral spirits. If I didn't use odorless mineral spirits and did burnishing, I tried so many different things with these pencils and I am so pleased with how this turned out. What do you think, Steve? Of my little guy oh, here. I love it. I mean, I just love the colors. I and then on that tan, it's perfect. It's so beautiful. And the pencils do read differently on tanned paper. If you plan on coloring on different colored paper, I highly recommend you swatch onto that paper first to see what those pencils or markers or whatever you're using will look like on that paper. So we have swatch books that you can order on our tanned paper. So if you decide to order a book on tanned paper, I recommend you get a swatch book with that same paper. This is my book. I just had Steve print it for me. I can't wait to fill it up. I've been swatching into my chibi book. So that's the other option that you can do is get some swatch pages in a book, right, Steve? So I have um, my chibi book here. Yes. So you can get swatch right. pages in there. And that works great, except that I'm already starting to run out of swatching space. <laughs> and so I'm like, Steve, I need a full swatch book because I know I'm going to want to sw swatch all my Prismacolors all my polychromos, not just a few of them. And so that's why I had Steve print me this giant book I can swatch till <laughs> till well, winter. <laughs> well, how many? 3,600 times? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 3,600 <laughs> different things. Now I can do this. So you can get swatch books like this on um, all of our papers or all except the black right now. No, you can get it on black, too. Ooh, that's right. I have one on black right behind me. Duh. <laughs> uh, so all yes, of our all papers. Paper. So, and yeah. So highly recommend these swatch books. And they do come in different forms. Just come and check out our website and see all the swatching amazingness that we have. Okay, but I wanted to show you more into this coloring book so that you can kind of see what you can get. Um, her books here, this one here, we're calling it Fairy Tale Bliss. It's volume one because we may have her do another volume if you guys like this particular artist. Her name is Oksana and she is from let me see, from the Ukraine. Here's a picture of her here and she is so talented. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this little fellow that's inside this um, book but it's so much fun to bring in a little different artist with a little bit of a different style than I draw so and it was fun to color something very different from my own style 
style. It was very challenging for me to get the different shading going in here and oh, it was so much fun. So I can't wait for you guys to try this out. So let's thumb through the book real quick so you can see the art. And you can have this printed on you can have it printed on the tan, on color pencil paper, marker paper. Can they have it on black? Have we done it on black? On black paper? I mean, so many different options. So let's take a look at the art. So Oksana is a really awesome artist that is based in the Ukraine and she's a self-educated digital artist and she has been drawing this adorable little character that you're seeing now as I flip through this book. So let me tell you a little bit about him. Um, he is, his name I think is called Lysovic or Lysovic. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but basically it means spirit of the forest and he is from Slavic mythology. So he has a whole mythology behind him. I can't wait to look up that mythology. Usually he is shown as an old man. He is a friend of nature and the creatures that live in the forest. So I guess a few years ago, Oksana had a lack of inspiration and she decided to take a vacation. She spent a week in a small village in the mountains and each day she went far out into the forest with her sketchbook. And the illustrations of this character and his world um, was what she created as she did this daily routine out into the mountains. So it's just so cool to picture her out there in with her sketchbook, drawing these adorable illustrations of this spirit of the forest, this very adorable man from Slavic mythology. I am excited about him. Okay, so as we were proofing these pictures and getting them ready for you, I had Steve print them all on tan paper for me, so that's why I have them loose. In fact, if you ever want to purchase our our coloring books unbound, you can do that. That's even an option, so check that out. Um, but when I got the book from our print shop, I had Steve print it for me on color pencil paper, all bound, including some swatch pages and some blank pages at the back for doing notes and planning out color schemes and all that good stuff back there. So I have it in two versions. And what I love about her illustrations are all the amazing details. You can really get lost in the illustrations. For instance, this is the cover art here. I've got it um, ready to color. I'm kind of excited about it, but the cool vegetables there, they are recognizable, but just um, fantastic enough that they seem like they're from a different world. It's kind of cool, very magical. Let me show you another one. This is, I think the very first piece of art we saw from her was this one here. And I just fell in love with all the details. Look at the window the cool details, the things that you can color and just kind of get lost in this whole world that she has created. Look at his shoes. I mean, so charming and so much fun. And um, coloring pages with lots of details like this are, um, you kind of have a choice. You can either really go in and fill in every single little detail, or you can just wash over and do a whole bunch of color and color the whole thing in one block of color. So don't get um, intimidated by so many details if that's not your thing. You still may want to try some art like this and see how you feel about it. Oh, look at her little um, fan. It's a fantasy little um, creature that kind of travels with him. Isn't that <laughs> kind of cool? like her? his dog or yeah, something. Yeah, it's got his big nose and almost like feather um, leaves for fur. So much fun. This is, I think, the tree he lives in, I think, is yeah. the idea. It's yeah. so you cool. You can see the little houses, you know, like it's a community there. Yeah, little houses at the base of the tree. This is like a snail creature that lives in the forest. 
it's just so much fun. And when it's fantasy like this, there's no rules. He could have a chrome back. You could make it have chrome sections and purple and blue and whatever you want. You can just do anything you want with all of this. Look at the mushrooms and the cool details on the underside of the mushrooms. So much fun. Can't wait to see what you guys do. It was one of the best things about um, being a coloring page illustrator is this collaboration. Now, once the illustration is done, we turn it over to the colorist and then as the illustrator we get to see how you interpret the illustration with color it's really satisfying this collaboration so I'm sure that the illustrator that she's going to have fun seeing what you guys do with all of her art and it's cool that she is way over in Europe and we're all over the world and now she's going to get to have this collaborative experience where she watches you take her art and put color to it it's really a cool collaboration so come and get the free download and try it out this is the one that you get to color and see what you do with it how you interpret it um, you'll probably have a few more colors other than just 12 earthy ones that you can choose from so you can um, interpret it any way you want and post it and we will make sure that we let Oksana know that we are making this available so that she can see what you guys do with her piece of art, her illustration, and it'll be so much fun to see how we all interpret it differently with different pieces, different kinds of art media, and oh, it's just going to be lots of fun. Okay, so my final word on the Derwent drawing pencils. If you have the budget and you want to try a cool professional grade pencil with a very narrow color scheme, these are, am I allowed to say this? These are the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously I went and had to do full set syndrome and buy them all. And I, I even bought another case that I'm gonna be putting a whole bunch of my latest Derwent pencils into because yeah, these are really good. The bigger core, the creamy lay down. I mean, I was able to get some seriously good contrast with I was such amazed a small at what you were able set. to do with such a limited palette. Yeah, and, and that has a little to do with the tan toned paper as well that helped yeah. um, and if you want some help with um, learning how to color with color pencils we also have a really good four-part tutorial workshop series called the color pencil fast track which I teach all kinds of tricks like how I shaded with yellow to get the highlight and and get some contrast there we teach all kinds of tricks like that in that fast track series so if you want to learn some good Good color pencil theory that's a good class to take so yeah I highly recommend these pencils and I'm glad that I've been recommending them for years even though I hadn't tried them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chinese white is probably the best yeah. white or But pencil. is it still the best white pencil? Oh. <laughs> We're going to be doing a big um, battle of the white pencils. I've been starting to collect all your feedback. I ha In our Facebook group, I've been asking, which white pencils do you think I need to include in this battle? So make sure you're subscribed. Hit that thumbs up if you like this kind of content. I'm looking forward to that battle of the white pencils we have other excuse me we have other awesome content coming your way so i look forward to seeing you in our next video and i hope you have a wonderful colorful blissful day bye bye everyone